Hello, my name is Eitan Manhoff. I'm the owner of Cape and Cowell Comics in downtown Oakland, California. Come on in and take a look. So you may have noticed that things look a little more sparse than you would expect for a video like this, but there's a really good reason for that. It is a day of celebration at Oakland for fans of Marvel's Black Panther. Yeah, today fans lined up outside Cape and Cowell Comics to grab a special Oakland edition of the popular comic. Man, I'm ecstatic, man, I'm exuberant. You know what I'm saying? A black superhero in the town, in the town. The first thing you see when you walk into Cape and Cowell is our all ages section. It's really important to us that when parents and kids come in, they know that this is the right store for them, that we have something for them. In this section, we have books for everyone. Uh, we'd never ask a parent if they're shopping for a boy or a girl. We just want to know what kind of story that their kid wants and how we can best connect them with it. This section's also full of young adult books, not only DC and Marvel, but Scholastic, First Second, Image Comics, and a number of other publishers. Stretching from the front of the store all the way to the back, you'll find our new release racks. We purposefully don't separate out this week's new releases from the rest of the books because we want people to find the book they're looking for regardless of when it was actually released. We use special cards to indicate which books are new this week, what are from last week's, and we use special gold cards to point out staff picks. I personally read 10 to 15 comics every Tuesday night and write up many reviews to help people find the right book for them. We love new comic book days. It's our favorite day of the week. We get to connect with our customers, talk about new books, get people excited for things, get ourselves excited for things. It's just the best day of the week. Trade paperbacks and graphic novels are a huge part of what our store does, and we've got a lot of them. Uh, not only DC and Marvel, but we have an extensive independent section. We carry more image comics than we do Marvel comics. Our front recommendation tables are full of books from publishers like Black Mask, Albatross, and then of course a bunch of image, DC, and Marvel, because we love all that stuff too. And what's a comic shop without back issues and wall books? They might not be the most profitable part of our business, but we find that they're incredibly necessary to the comic book store experience. You gotta have boxes for people to dig through. You gotta have books on the wall that people aspire to. You gotta give people that satisfaction of plugging a hole in their collection or picking up that grail that they can show off to their friends. We love watching people find that book that they've been looking for forever. Toys, toys, toys. Everybody likes that little plastic version of their favorite thing, and we totally get that. One of our favorite things is working with local artists to put together things like enamel pins, prints, and t-shirts uh, that show off a little bit of the store's personality and give our customers a chance to show off a little bit of their personality on themselves. It's been an exciting year at Cape and Cabell. Most recently, it was our Black Panther number one Oakland variant, which we've learned meant a lot to our city. In addition to that, we've had a number of book clubs and signings with local artists and creators, all for independent works. We've held a number of special events to benefit charities, such as the ACLU, Southern Poverty Law Center, comic book stores affected by Hurricanes Harvey and Irene, and the big one for us is our free comic book day food drive where we team up with a local tattoo shop. This year we collected over 2,300 pounds of food and a whole bunch of people got cool nerdy tattoos. Hey, I'm Kevin. I've worked at Cape and Cal for two whole years. Hi, my name is Amaya. I'm working at Cape and Cal for eight months. What's up? I'm Tyler. I've been working at Cape and Cowell for two and a half years. Uh, hi, I'm Juliet. I've worked here a little bit over a month. Hi, my name is Fernando and I've been working at Cape and Cowell for about two to three years now. It's going on three years. My name's Aton Manhoff. I've worked at Cape and Cowell every day since it's been open. Hope to see you at Cape and Cowell. <laughs>